Okay. Uh, this side. Come on. Look, be brave. You speak now. No, be... Calm. Calm this side. Calm. Please. You're a nice lady. We'll speak nicely. Okay, come on. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, he's, uh, so we'll slightly move somewhere, yeah? Because, yes. Uh, but brother, they're talking. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Basically. These are the other way around, I think. Where is this wrong? Okay. So in Genesis, yes. in the beginning was the word. Yes. Then the word became uh, flesh. So, and the world, and the word dwelt, no, that's John, sorry, in John, yeah. it says the word yeah. became flesh and dwelt amongst men. Yeah. So that coincides with Genesis, yeah. when God spoke, he sent the word, and he created. Okay. So the word became flesh, that was Jesus in the flesh. So basically anything yeah. that has not come in the flesh is illegal. Demons are illegal because okay. they don't have a body. Okay. So God, in order to have um, what? to be man, had to be born of a woman okay. to so, be man okay. to conquer the okay. flesh. So you this are saying, flesh, the thank soul, you very much. The sin that dies. Okay, can we move? Uh, they are talking over there. Slightly a bit more, yeah? yeah? Okay. Okay, thank you very much for giving me your time. Now, you talk about God, okay, who became a man, yes? Okay, that God who became man, was his name Jesus? Yes, in the flesh, Jesus. Thank you. So when God became a man, was God Almighty only on earth? No, no, no. In, so, the, in, in Genesis, it talks about um, the Spirit dwells. So God is the Father, the yeah. Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh. Triune. This is, he's got, so he said, let us create man. So That's what it says in Genesis. Let us create. So he created the heavens, he created the earth, he created the animals. And then God came together. Yes. Three, let us create man. And okay. then also, okay. he said, then he also dwelt amongst men in John. Okay. So that is the triune God. So God. Okay dwelt amongst men. Yeah, when you say triune God, yeah, who three. are the three? God the Father, yes. God the Son, yes. and God the Holy Spirit. Thank you very much. So the Son. Now, okay, we Muslims, yeah. ask any Muslim, we Muslims, all Muslims, we believe that there, is, there man, is only... God is a spirit. That, that there is God is a spirit and yeah. he's Okay, hold on, so hold on. even if he was in heaven, yeah. okay, he hold on. I'll give you a chance, madam. We Muslims, wherever we are, okay, from wherever we are, we Muslims all believe God Almighty is only one. And that one God Almighty we believe is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah. Okay? Now, madam, you just told me that as a Christian you believe in three in one. Yes? Yes. He's so the you same be one, but he's got different attributes. Right. So, the God, the uh, from these... Uh, triune gods you are talking about from the from the three in one one in three was who came first was it god the father who came first was it god the father um what do you mean came came to, okay okay because god okay. has always been there what okay you thank you very earth? much so you just said god has always been there yes was Jesus always there? Yes. So if Jesus was always there... He was so, needed on earth, so he came down to earth to save mankind. Okay, well, thank you. So when Jesus came on the earth... Yeah. A body was created. Okay, was Jesus sent to the earth? He said, I came to do the will of my father. Ah, so Jesus came to do the will of his father, yes? So did Jesus come to do the will of his God. Yeah, the Father. Okay, so... It's, no, 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 he says, I and the Father are one. So he is still, but in so, the flesh, listen, yeah. in the flesh, the flesh is weak. Yeah. So what God, what Jesus did in the form of flesh is submit to the Father. Yeah. So what he did was humbled himself okay. as a man, Right. submitted himself to God as the Father. He showed right. us an example of right. how to behave in the flesh. Right. So basically, even though he was one with God, he did not 
um, he did not take over. He did not, you okay. know, he humbled himself in a form of a man. Thank you very much. He, so you did say that Jesus submitted, submitted. his will yes. to the Father. To the will of the Father. Yes. So you are saying Jesus in submitted flesh. his will to God. Because he came down for a purpose, for a reason. So basically... He came was, down as a man, yes? He came down in a, as a man, yes. So he because came he down as a human. As, yeah. So he when came down to be human okay. with us, to feel what we go through, Thank to you. take our place, you know, Thank and you. to show us... Okay. Was, Jesus, was Jesus always God? Yes. So if Jesus was Jesus always the, God... Yes. Then Jesus how come he became God. a man? Because, what do you mean how come he became a but, man? Because, madam, you said virgin. Jesus, madam, you said Jesus was always God, yeah. okay? Yeah. So I'm asking you, if Jesus was always you God... Know why Jesus came down to earth? No, answer this one. If Jesus, you said Jesus was always God, so if Jesus was always God, then how come he became a man? He came down for a mission. So he wasn't always God, that means. Are you not listening? Okay, I'll okay, listen. So Carry on. Even though he was one with God, when he came down as a man, yeah. he humbled himself and submitted. So he, he's not, so Father is still there and stuff, but Jesus came down on a mission to do a so, job. So he wasn't playing the role of the eternal, or of, of the supreme, yeah. all, you know what I mean? Okay. He came as a man. Right. So he had his own, he had to submit under so the when he came as man Jesus in as you flesh, said when Jesus came as a man was he just a man at that time or was he a man and God at the same time okay maybe we move forward madam we Muslims pray we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala God Almighty as Christians do you pray what do you think oh tell us what do you think? You do pray. Okay. Okay. So, you know so as okay, we Muslims pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, God Almighty. As Christians, do you pray to Jesus? Yes. We've already, I've already answered this question to you. Jesus in the Bible, Jesus says, "Whatever you ask the Father in my name, He will do it." Yeah, so but that's why we ask in the, in Jesus' name because what so Jesus do you came pray to, to the do, Father? Listen, I haven't finished. Go on. What Jesus came to do in the flesh, yeah. submitting himself to the Father, was to give authority to man in the name of Jesus. So all the treasures and things. So basically, in a house, there's the Father, there's the man, the 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 the, the, the master mm. of the household, mm. and in this household, you know, he has. Well, if he has a son, whatever he belongs, whatever okay. he has, belongs to the son. So when Jesus, when when God in the flesh came as Jesus, yes. he came and brought the treasures from heaven onto Jesus. Okay. Do you understand? So whatever, when Jesus died on the cross, yes. yeah, and rose again, no other prophets, no other rose again from the dead, okay. he took the treasures yeah, okay. from the grave and he's given it to man. That's the symbolism of Jesus. Thank so when you. he came and came to do the Father's will, that was his mission. Thank you very so much. He, we ask in the name of Jesus, we have received from heaven. Thank That's you very right. much for giving me your precious time. Thank you, Thank you very much for speaking nicely. Right. But uh, stay there one minute. I now, we, uh, just just uh, one minute, uh, a few minutes, please. We Muslims believe everything in our Holy Quran, our Holy Book. As a Christian, do you believe everything in your Bible? Yeah. Okay, can I give you just a, a one uh, uh, verse from your Bible? Okay, uh, in I cannot, every... I cannot explain everything in the Bible. No, no, it's quite simple. Okay. I'll read it to you. Okay, okay? I'll read it to you. Okay. Thank different... you very much. I'll just read it to you. Thank you very much. Okay, now, in every Christian Bible, in the New Testament, in the book of Acts, Chapter 10, verse 40, 40. In the Bible, it's Peter, the disciple of Jesus. He says, But God raised him, Jesus, from the dead on the third day and caused him to be seen. So, seen, seen. So, is it true that God 
raised him, Jesus, from the dead on the third day. So does that mean that uh, Jesus himself could not raise himself, but God raised him? In the flesh. Yeah. That's what I'm saying to you. The flesh is weak. Okay, so, so God raised Jesus up. In the flesh, God raised, it's, it's a symbolism of yeah. all we have okay. as well. We will be raised again with Jesus, that's the symbolism of So that. it says from the dead on the third day. Yeah. So Jesus was in dead flesh, for, so Jesus he was, through, okay, okay. Through, okay. So Jesus, you are telling us, was dead for three days. I don't know what happened, so yeah. three days I wasn't there. No, but, but what uh, I knew, uh, it doesn't say what happened in those three days. I don't it know says he was buried. Yeah, he was buried. Buried. You don't know where his soul, his spirit went. Okay, so understand? Jesus was buried, you agree? He was, yes, he was buried in a tomb. Uh, but you don't agree that God was buried? What? No, when Jesus was buried... Yes, God. So, do you believe God was buried? Yes, but it's so, not... Jesus How can God be buried for three days? It. Yes. yes. God is everywhere. Yes. God in the flesh. Yes. Jesus was yes. buried. Yes. yes. Okay, so thank you. God the Father was still there because Jesus still prayed to the Father. Jesus still, you know, he says, I can call to my angel, yeah. you know, who will come and rescue me. But he did not do so. There's a reason why Jesus did not take all his authority under the flesh. Because yeah. he came to submit himself to, for a mission to yeah. do the Father's will. So okay. even though he had all power, he even said, do you not think I can call a legion of angels who will come and deliver rescue so when, me? But he chose not to. Okay. Jesus could have done a whole load of things a certain way, but he chose not to. So tell me... When it says in the Bible, book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 40, but God raised Jesus, God, but God raised him, Jesus, from the dead, so does it mean that Jesus himself couldn't raise himself from the dead? Listen, Jesus has submits to the Father, so okay. it's up to the Father, so it was the Father's will. Okay. Do you understand? So are you so saying that God Jesus submitted yes. his will to, the to God the, the Father? Yes. So can I ask you, thank you for that, can I ask you, did God the Father ever die? Did God the Holy Spirit ever die? No, I'm asking you, did God the Ho Father ever die? No, thank you. Did God the Holy Spirit ever die? No, no. That's your answer, isn't it? Okay, but God the Son... Did he die? Yes. Okay, so only God the Son died. And rose again. So was Jesus part of God? Yes. So will you say, will you tell us that for three days, part of God was dead? It is not in that way. It is not in that well, way. you said Jesus was part flesh. of God. It is the flesh that yeah. died. Yeah. Jesus flesh of Jesus. Flesh yeah. died. So it was not Jesus God. who died. It was the flesh. Yeah, but, a, okay, know, listen, when a body what? dies, the soul leaves the body, does okay. it not? Okay. It's the body that dies. Okay. The spirit goes back to where it came from. Yeah. Is that not true? Yeah, but you Is know, that not the, true? Yeah, so if Jesus died yeah. in the flesh, it was the flesh that died. Yeah, Jesus and not died. God in the spirit. So that was so Jesus who died. what said is to explain that. It was the body. Yeah. The body, body that died. The body of Jesus. Yes. But so Jesus, Jesus died. Die. No, the yeah, body. But it, it's his body. No, that's enough. That's but you enough. know, Thank you very much. That's yeah. No, we all know when a body dies, the yeah. soul goes back to where it came from. Yeah. Okay, it wasn't simple. God that died. It it's was simple. the body. God okay, can you answer this one? Can no, God that's ever enough. die? That's no. Enough. Okay, have a nice day, yeah? Read the Holy Quran, yes? That's the truth. Okay. You know, I'm spy smiling. What can I do? I mean, it's the way these debates uh, go. The Christians eventually lose their confidence and they go you know they go away they find an excuse and they leave the debate because Christianity and the Christians who profess Christianity the people who say they are Christians they cannot answer the simple questions you know they cannot answer the simple questions and what do they do they leave this is what's happening in general. People are, Christians are leaving the church, Christians are leaving Christianity, and Christians are becoming 
Muslim or Christians are becoming atheists or Christians are becoming Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, that's it. But Islam keeps on growing. Islam keeps on spreading. Why? Islam is hut. Islam is the truth. Thank you very much uh, to all the listeners. Thank you very much for your patience. And of course, when these videos are uploaded, you will yourself, you can uh, uh, see that uh, who is speaking the truth. You can see that who is more believable. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, uh, can one of you Christians come over here? Talk to me. They are all talking to one Muslim. Amy, 